My name's Carl from Fly This Sim, and you can see all the range of our simulators here, from the $4,900 version to the $30,000 version. All FAA approved to BATD standards, and that means you can log the time for initial learning to fly, towards your instrument rating, and for instrument currency afterwards. And we're the only company that has the approval to use touch screens on basic aviation devices, basic aviation training devices, I should say. And that allows us to have the versatility to do over 105 different cockpit avionics configurations. We write all our own software for autopilots, avionics, and aircraft systems. So that means we can be absolutely button specific for whichever autopilot we do. And that's a marked difference from generic trainers that are usually available. Yes, well, we keep selling simulators, so we're just moving into a new factory in San Luis Obispo and a new sales office in San Jose. And really, this year, we're concentrating on the FM-210. Our FM-210 uh, allows the pilot a 210-degree field of view by 70 degrees field of view. That's 70 degrees in elevation. That's the up and down. Uh, sets us apart from everybody else, not only in field of view, but brightness. Um, and it's really the visual perceptions that pilots use to land an airplane um, and do those sorts of things that they can't do because they have to, they can't reference instruments for because they have to be looking out the window. I've been a factory instructor for Sears for several years now, and I found the touch trainer is actually a very good tool to introduce new Cirrus owners to the airplane. Pitch power trim are all pretty much equivalent to the power settings that we will use in the actual airplane. And as we move from SR20 to SR22 to the SR22 Turbo, um, the touch trainer follows along just fine. Clearly, uh, you have options in terms of avionics. Uh, we do G1, G2, G3, and G5 avionics right through the latest vision of the Garmin Perspective software. Uh, the first thing you need to know about the Touch Trainer is it was developed by a bunch of guys that love to fly. So there was no doubt we were going to make a flight simulator that was also fun to fly. And I don't mean fun in the, you know, fly an F-18 in afterburner mode. I mean fun in that it makes you behave as if you're flying the real thing. So all I can say about our touch trainer is if you want to fly the real airplane, that's great. But if you haven't got time, fly the touch trainer. I have flown every one of our uh, airplanes from Cessna to Cirrus, from Beach to Piper, and including a Mitsubishi MU2. And I have never seen a system that more closely replicates the airplane than what we've got right here. We simulate Robinson 22 and 44. We're working on Robinson 66. We provide a variety of avionics panels, which is our claim to fame. Uh, G500, 9 hole, 7 hole systems, all certified for instrument training. They're also SFAR 73 compliant, which means we can demonstrate mass bumping, uh, tail rotor failures, settling under power, uh, and all of the uh, SFAR 73 requirements right here in the Touch Trainer. We've taken a lot of time to make sure that uh, the pilot operating the helicopter gets the same response in the simulator that he gets in the helicopter. Uh, that would be my number one rep response to that question. The other response would be, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Compared to joystick flying, our controls feel very similar. There's a good reason for that. Um, the collective needs to have the kind of tension that a pilot can rely on so he knows what he puts it somewhere it's going to stay there. The cyclic needs to be tensioned enough so that it, it holds its position but not so loose or so tight that the pilot has to use a lot of force. Um, I find it to be very realistic. The, the avionics package is done through our touchscreen technology with the same Simavio software that we've been running. And of course, I got to give a big shout out to X-Plane here. Their, uh, their flight dynamics for these uh, Robinsons have really made us look good.